Okay, so this uh, final skill that we're going to do here is going to be uh, draining the, uh, the urine bag, okay? Now, we have two um, bags that are down here. I'm only going to show you how to empty one of them. The other one, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how the mechanism works so that um, if you do happen to get that, uh, that uh, urine bag, you'll know at least how to drain them, okay? So you are going to need gloves for this, okay? And you do... Uh, have to record at the end of this. It is an automatic fail if you do not record, so make sure that you do that, okay? So here we go. We're going to go ahead and start out. We're just going to act like there's a patient in the bed here, so knock, knock, knock. Good morning, Mr. Jones. How are we doing today? He's going to reply back that he's doing fine. Uh, great. My name is Michael, and I'm going to be your CNA today, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to get some, uh, some urine from you. Is that okay from your bag here? He says that that's fine. First, let me go ahead and close your curtain for privacy, okay? I'm then going to perform hand hygiene, all right? And the first thing that you want to do is, is go ahead and get a paper towel, okay, that you're going to place down here on the floor. Now, this is going to be your barrier, um, so that way you can put your graduate down, okay? Next, go ahead and get your gloves, okay? And you're going to go ahead and put them on. Remember, you are dealing with, uh, you know, blood or bodily fluids, so you want to make sure that you have gloves on. And again, choose the appropriate size because sometimes um, your hands can get a, you can get nervous, get a little sweaty, and it's hard to put these gloves on sometimes like that. Okay, so now that we have that, let me go ahead and get my graduate. Okay, now the graduate's going to have, um, it's going to have measurements on it. Okay, so it's going to have ounces. And then it's going to have cc's. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to the cc's, the bigger numbers. Okay, don't worry about ounces. So we're going to go ahead and come down here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and take out the little drainage port. Okay, we're going to take it out of the pocket here. All right. And we're just going to place it right into the center of the graduate. This is your graduate. Okay. So you want to make sure that this does not touch the inside of the graduate so you have to keep it kind of still in the middle all right your thumb is going to go right underneath the uh, drainage pipe here okay your finger goes right here and you're just going to press down and it's going to release the urine okay now for the test you're going to drain this entire bag okay i'm just going to drain a little bit of it here just for time restraints okay so you're going to drain the entire bag. There's going to be no urine in this bag when you're done, okay? We're then going to wait a few seconds and allow some of this urine to drip in there, okay? Don't shake. Just let gravity do its thing. And then you're going to place that drainage port right back into the pocket there, okay? Now, if let's say you had this urine bag here, okay, you would pull it out of the the pocket okay just like how it was on here okay this clip is not a push clip side to side you have to press your thumb down here and forward and it will actually unhook and will allow it to drain okay once this is drained out you're then just going to go ahead and push it closed it snaps closed and you put it right back in the pocket okay now there are many different urine drainage bags out there these are just two examples, okay? You're only going to have the one that you're going to have to go ahead and, and drain the urine out of, okay? So then you're going to come to, uh, let's say, your toilet tank or your toilet seat, okay? I normally prefer to put it on the, the back of the tank, okay? You have to get it eye level, and you're going to go ahead and measure. So I'm going to measure, I'm at 275, okay? So remember that in your head that you've got it at 275, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and take my uh, paper towel, throw it away, okay? And now this urine needs to go in the toilet, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and put it in the toilet, okay? And then you're gonna rinse it out three times, placing the rinse into the toilet, okay? So that's two, that's three, you're now going to go ahead and flush the toilet. You're going to get paper towels to clean and wipe the urine out of this, okay? You're going to place this back in your drawer. 
You're now going to take your gloves off. So now my gloves are off. I'm immediately going to record what I got. Okay, so I need to remember that number, and it has to be in the output area of your sheet. Okay, you also have to put the time. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're putting down the time. Okay, and then um, that it was urine and the CCs and your initials. Okay, now you're going to exit your patient. So, Mr. Jones, is there anything else that I can do for you? He says no, he's good. Okay, fantastic. So I'm just going to give the call light to his hand. Okay, I'm then going to open the curtain, perform hand hygiene, look around and make sure that my patient is nice and comfortable, that I've documented. I am now done with this skill.